Congressional District, Tom Halpin. I mentioned that I was an attorney, so if anybody freezes a death member, I can defend myself. <laughs> <laughs> so I thank you very much. Your support has been overwhelming in the early stages. I, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It's been great getting to know you, and I look forward to it, to a good year and, and a good friendship. Thanks for everybody for coming here. I'm, I really apologize about the uh, the weather. I'm so excited when I woke up this morning. It was like 45 degrees. I was bragging to my wife how smart we are to pick such a great day. <laughs> and uh, then I, on the way here, she was, they were yelling at me because I said, it's now 29 degrees. <laughs> no, it's now 28 degrees. <laughs> Speaking of my family, Danielle, my wife. Yay! Yay. Every 20 years is June 18. Right. And we dated for seven before that, so it's been a long but good time. Yay. And my 14-year-old going on 17-year-old daughter, Marley. <laughs> Son Benjamin. Yeah. Guys, thank you for your support. I love you and thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Well, we are here on this farm and it's kind of torturous right now because it's so cold. And I knew that we'd have a small crowd because of that, but it was crucial for us to announce here on a farm because I realized how important ag is, uh, not just to this race. And I'm going to make sure it's a big issue. But anybody who knows me, like my friend Bill Shell here, who's been with me through many campaigns since I first ran for township supervisor, ag was basically the platform of every every one of our races. It is important. Now I have a board right here. I wrote, I jotted down some notes here, and the first thing I wrote was soils. This district has some of the best farm soils on planet Earth. Bill's heard me say that a million times about Lutton Grove Township. Well, I mean, come on now, we're in Lancaster County, so farmland is crucial for that reason in and of itself. Uh, preservation is fiscally responsible. What exactly does that mean? There was a uh, commission, uh, commission study by Berkheimer done back in 2003. Avon Grove School Board uh, had that study done. And it showed us then, a decade ago, that Avon Grove spent about $12,000 to educate each child. So the average home has about 2.3 kids, according to development studies, and the average three to four bedroom home. So that meant Avon Grove would spend about 30 grand a year to educate those two or three kids but collect about six grand in taxes. So you do the math. As the farms go away, the subdivisions come in, property taxes go up. In fact, they went up about 8% a year uh, for a decade straight. So saving farmland is not only environmentally sound, it's fiscally responsible. And then of course, the number one industry in Pennsylvania. Agriculture is the number one industry in Pennsylvania. Uh, my history with ag, uh, in Lennon Grove Township, we have a town, it's a rectangle, Route 1 splits is in half. And when I first ran for supervisor back in 01, I was the first Democrat on the ballot there in 41 years. And the, our opponents wanted to put sewer and water, which caused the development of the entire South. They wanted to put that under Route 1 up to our ag zone. So our platform was to oppose that. And we were successful, and we're still successful. We won every, mostly every election since. You never fully can say, oh, we saved our ag zone. It's always in danger. But we have done that. And as a result, when I first ran for state rep back in 2006, the PA League of Conservation Voters chose me statewide after vetting hundreds of candidates as their top number one endorsed candidate uh, because of that record. And I was a Democrat. It was tough, but we worked together. Independents, Republicans, and Dems to, to go ahead and fight to save that ag zone. Uh, I then, of course, when I got to Harrisburg, became a proud member of the Agriculture and Rural Affairs Committee. And that year, that term actually, the PA Farm Bureau had three legislative priorities. And two of them, I was a proud sponsor of those bills. One was a PA Preferred Program. You guys probably heard of it. It's like the Buy USA program that allows farmers to actually, you know, when they produce their goods, it allows them to get that tag, the PA Preferred. So consumers who go into restaurants or go into stores can see that logo on the food. Uh, if you're conscious of that and, and you want to you know, buy local or buy Pennsylvania, that's been a huge boon for farmers. It's a great marketing, marketing program. I was a proud sponsor of that legislation, which unfortunately I couldn't get passed when I was in Harrisburg, but it finally did get passed. But a bill that I was able to get passed uh, and I was very proud of, I, I watched the governor uh, sign that bill uh, right before I left office, was a bill, I assume everybody here has heard of Clean and Green, Clean and Green Farm Program. Well, that's, uh, that's an act that allows farmers to get involved and get greatly reduced property taxes, which is crucial because we want, we want to encourage farmers and, and large landowners with forest preserve to preserve that ground. 
So what better way than to have a program to allow them to get uh, greatly reduced property taxes? Well, unfortunately, um, if that farmer decided to contract with a wind or solar company and just put you know, some wind, windmills on a portion of the ground, the, actually the law the way it existed at the time, they would lose their clean and green status for the entire property. Didn't make sense. So my legislation would allow that farmer actually, I cannot draw my, my handwriting, it's very sloppy. But I actually drew a farm here, you can see the rectangle. That's windmills, very poor, very poor job. But if the farmer uh, puts windmills now, the rollback taxes will apply to that small segment where they put the infrastructure and not the entire property. They get to remain in clean and green for the entire property. Now, uh, I was able to get this stuff done, not because I'm some great legislative uh, you know, hero. It's about working across the aisle. You know, that's, that's what we're able to do. Coming together with other people, despite their party, and saying what's best for this area, what's best for Pennsylvania. I mean, why do we care about politics? Why is it important? Can anybody answer that? Why do we care about politics? Affects people's lives. Affects people's lives. Sally, great answer. Anybody else like to take a shot at that? Why do we care about politics? We, we care about our country. We care about our country. That's a, obvious. That's a, that's a great answer. The future. Care about kids. Yeah. Care about kids. Well, let me tell you another you know, great question. There's been a question I've been asking myself uh, for the last now couple months. Why am I willing to step off the sidelines to jump back? into this fight. You know, I'll tell you, I, I believe that people want a leader who both cares and simply knows how to get things done. Now, no matter what some of my past constituents might like to say about me, whether they agreed or disagreed, there's none of them that can say that I don't hold those two qualities. I'm running for Congress in the 16th district because I believe that people in this district want someone to go to Washington for them that can fight for them. That's something I will be doing. Now, I know, I know we're all concerned about the gridlock and the partisanship that exists in Washington, where unfortunately compromise is now a four-letter word, a big dirty word right now, unfortunately. Um, and uh, you know, as a township supervisor, as I mentioned, as a state representative, I was able to often work across uh, the uh, aisle to get things done because I know then, now what I knew then, Compromise is the key to good legislation that betters the lives of people. I know a little something about bettering the lives of people. My late mother, Dars, uh, was a waitress for many years, actually many decades. We were poor. It was a struggle. Uh, I remember those times, you know, we had no electricity. Taking showers on days that were probably as cold as this, you know, it wasn't fun. But those times, you know, made me, made me stronger. Uh, despite those struggles, I was actually able to get to school from kindergarten to 12th grade with perfect attendance. Uh, did I have that? <laughs> and every time I say that, I get that reaction. Um, you know, was I able to, you know, to, 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 to accomplish that Lou Gehrig type, type street because, uh, I'm sorry, not Cal Ripken. Oh my God, I got my baseball on. <laughs> Cal Ripken type street because I, because I, uh, well, actually Lou Gehrig too, right? Yeah, he's yeah, pretty funny. Yeah, that's going. Cool. Yeah, because I love school, you know, is, is that why, is that why I did that? Kids, yes, I, I did love school. Uh, you know, all joking aside, I knew that that a good education and working hard would be the gateway to opportunity and the keys to a better life. <laughs> Through public education, federal student loans, and real opportunity, I was able to make my way through college and law school, become an attorney where fortunately I've been able to uh, uh, take care of my family and raise my kids. I want to go to Washington every single day fighting for you. I want to go to Washington and I want to go, uh, go to bed every night knowing that I did all I could that day to do everything in my power to provide that same opportunity for you and your families, especially your kids and your students. Partisan, partisanship and gridlock that leads to government shutdown and near economic collapse is not going to get it done. That's simply not going to get it done. That's not what we need, and that is not the representation that you deserve. As your congressman, I will support strong education. Yay! <laughs> and a strong economy and good family-sustaining jobs by bringing the government and the private sector together. 
an agricultural policy that actually preserves and strengthens family farms while continuing to preserve this amazing rural heritage that we have here in the 16th district. A social safety net that protects our family, our friends, and our neighbors, and of course, along with our seniors and our veterans. And finally, a government that is both effective and efficient for us and our families. I'm Tom Houghton, and I'm asking for your support so I can work hard and be the congressman, be the representative that you deserve. Yay! Now, I, I know there's some press standing behind me. Does anybody have any 